Hello and welcome to Vod of Consciousness with Santir. I am Santir. You can support me at patreon.com slash Santir. Anyway, today we need to, in order to continue... Oh, there's a bunch of dancing dervishes over here. That's cool. Uh, all with chaos gloves and same Vabian armor, it looks like. Well, this person's determined. Anyway, uh, we're going into the Hall of Monuments because we need to speak with Gwen in the Hall of Monuments. We have a series of quests that we need to do before we can continue with the war in Krita. Uh, so let's go see what's on Gwen's mind. Hey, Gwen. How can I help? Uh, a good deed. Did you want something, Carmen Angelus? I was kind of hoping to be alone for a while. Some part of me knows that I should be with the other members of the Vanguard, celebrating our victories over the Char. But somehow, all that we've won only serves to remind me of everything that we that I've lost. That's sad, isn't it? That I feel that way? Maybe it doesn't make any sense, but that's how it is. And that's why I need to be by myself right now. I don't want to be a burden to everyone else. Well, okay. Uh, so now I need to run back into the Eye of the North, or more rapidly, teleport into the Eye of the North. And so what you see with this uh, quest here is it's going to be a lot of running back and forth. That's just how it works. So we need to go back out here so we can talk to ye old Kieran Thackeray. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Lieutenant Thackeray, leader of the Ebon Falcons, at your service. The Falcons are one of the advanced scout groups for the Vanguard. We were deep behind enemy lines when we, re when we received word of the attack on Captain Langmar's unit. We returned immediately, but it seems we were too late. It was a blessing that you came to their aid, and for that, we owe you a debt of gratitude. Allow us to shoulder, shoulder the responsibility now. My unit will be stationed here for the time being. You can leave the Vanguard to us. A good deed. I see. I understand how she feels. We need to make her understand that she's not alone, that the Ebon Vanguard is her family as well. I have an idea, but it will take some work and a special kind of gift. If you're up to it, take the sketch of Gwen's emblem to Valgar Tempest Crafter. He's an Orn artisan who recently returned to Olafstead. If, uh, he'll help if you tell him I sent you. We've worked together in the past. Okay, so now I need to go over to Olafstead. Now, there is a special restriction on this quest, at least at some point in time. Uh, but for now, we need to go talk to... Where is he? Over here. Valgor Tempest Crafter. Okay, Tempest Crafter, what you got? Creating a piece of armor is nothing. Crafting something that will stand against time and combat is true mastery. A good deed. You are a friend of the brave one called Thackeray? That one lived among us for a time. He has a Norn's courage and cunning, even if he has human blood. I am Valgar, shaper of fire, magic, and steel. I see Thackeray requires one of my magical pendants and wishes this emblem on it. The metal crafting won't take long. However, to truly fulfill Thackeray's request, you must take the pendant in Deverajar Fells, where the shaman Lefsi Spirit Chaser communes with the land of the dead. He will imbue it with the power of spirits drawn to this symbol. I warn you, human, this task should not be taken lightly. Okay, so he gives us a task, so we need to take the family crest pendant to Lefsi Spirit Chaser in Deverajar Fells. Do not take Gwen with you. So, uh, let's throw ourselves a little party. Um... But not taking Gwen. Let's do something different. Let's take uh, these guys and all the assassins. All the assassins. Because uh, I feel like it. Okay, those guys are fine. Uh, sure, that seems perfectly reasonable. Just wanted to glance over the builds. Yep, I like what you're doing. Actually... Mm, sharpened daggers may not be any good here. Um, the reason why I say that is we might be fighting a lot of stuff that is immune to what that does. Uh, which is bleeding. Um, I mean, I like what sharpened daggers but I'm just Let's just use Assassin's Remedy instead. 
Anton is doing some Earth Prayer stuff. Uh, he has the same Sharpened Daggers doesn't do what I want issue here. Um, I'm actually going to go a little wonky on him. I'm going to give him Armor of Earth. It'll make him slow, but uh, I think instead of that one, I'm going to go ahead and give him uh, a few points in Shadow Arts for the express purpose of wielding uh, Death's Charge, I think. Is that kind of my best Shadow Step towards an enemy voice? Probably. That's probably fine. Um... I think I can leave Miku this way. Um, probably, yeah, this is probably fine. Okay, so we've got a bunch of assassins. I've got what I'm doing. We've got our monks and a couple of Ellie's. Cool, this is probably a terrible team build, but I don't care. So let's make our way over to Ye Old Varjar Fells. So that way we can complete this particular west step. Probably a terrible idea, but whatever. Here we are. And I'm glad to have someone with charge. It is nice. I mean, the good news is there's going to be a lot of enchantments around, so... Whoops, my Mystic Healing will be quite useful. Okay, um, and then, yeah. Gas is probably fine to wrap around this way. I don't honestly know. It'd be difficult to determine what's kind of the best way to get where I'm trying to go, but... I guess this works. Yeah, friggin' Vytir... So many Vite here. Oh my goodness. Our monks just got racked. Do we have anyone with a res? Okay, this might have been a critical oversight. Don't have anyone with a res. Okay. I'm now officially our healer. That's not good. This is not a healing build. Um, so, for anyone who's wondering what happened, see ma the Maelstrom ticks that were on me. Those were also slamming my monks. And, um... I am surprised we are still doing this well, honestly. Uh... And the issue is that um, maelstrom ticks like that uh, make in, like they interrupt your spell casting. And because I did not think to make sure any of my characters had resurrection skills, because these professions don't have them, um, and I could have given one to Serenia at least. Uh, yeah, once. Any of our characters goes down, they're just down, which is perhaps unwise, but here we are. Ah, more friggin' Vite here. Get crippled, I guess. I mean, Serenia has additional party healing and stuff, so it's not like it's all bad. It's just the fact that a bunch of ice imps, um, got my entire monk line completely locked down and unable to operate. That was a serious problem. Try to stay up, Vec. Ah, friggin' ice imps are so dangerous. The problem here is the ice imps are really deadly. Uh, they really, really are.
Oh good, I'm out of death penalty. Alright, that didn't go so badly once we prioritized the items properly and didn't have our entire backline killed by like five maelstroms being dumped on them at once. The spell interrupting nature of maelstrom is really nasty. I don't need to be spamming that as much. Um, so whenever an enemy is killed with this on it, it removes 5% of my death penalty. Um, so needless to say, that's quite useful. Uh, so I was trying to make sure I was getting that on them. It also prevents me from missing. It's very useful, is what I'm saying. Yeah, the ice spear that they're using is being most effective. But again, because like my entire party gets enchanted, it's I have basically a fairly effective party heal in the form of mystic healing. Heals me for 45 and all enchanted allies for 45. Also, this battle music is kind of loud, but it's probably less loud for you relative to my voice than it is for me. Uh, my simps are very durable. Yeah. I know, there's a thing going on. Oh, cool. We got some new reputation points. Oh, move out of that maelstrom. Ah, there are so many maelstroms. That's what Isims do, though. They drop maelstroms on everyone. Eh, yeah, it's doing fine, I guess. Hey, Faya, one year. Uh, sure, I will take your 20 reputation points and be happy about it. Don't know what I think about pop-up mobs in this game. You know, like when you're walking along and all of a sudden a group of Vitir pop out of the mists and ambush you. I, it is a mechanic. There's a lot of variety on it. It's like spiders on devourers on burrowing or spiders dropping from trees or whatever. I don't know. I like being able to have stuff for this, but I'm not sure how great it is. If that makes sense. It's one of those things where my particular build, I mean, sans PvE only skills, but the idea of what I'm going for is probably stronger in uh, PvP than it is in PvE. It's just because Cripple is more useful in, uh, for the most part, in PvP. But the lock chest over here that I wanted to grab. Uh, we're going to be attacked by some of these phantoms. Let's see. Let's see. Cripple foes and transform to yourself. Yeah, it's attack skills that trigger it. Just wanted to double check how it triggered. Um. Oh yeah, Anton snares himself. I mean, it makes him way more durable. Um, what was this giving him? Forty-three armor is over half damage reduction, but the, again, to things that respect armor. Yeah, but see there, I was able to transfer some of my conditions off of myself. If I wasn't blind, I'd be able to transfer a lot more conditions off of myself, but... Uh, my lockpick was broken while opening the chest. No, okay, whatever. 
Um, your attack skills. Yeah, I assume... I don't know if that means every attack transfers. This is something that I'd have to double check on the wiki. Um, okay, Lefsy. Lefsy Spirit Chaser. What do you got to say for me? Life is not about a moment in time. Rather, it is a constant stream of action and emotion. The signs are there for those willing to open their eyes. There have been whispers in the other world and an echo of your footsteps. You walk the path of destiny tonight, human. I will perform the ritual of spirit finding for you, but you will need to protect me while I commune with the dead. The gates... Uh, oh, sorry, I lost it. Because enemies... Uh, he says, hear me, Raven. We beseech you, O spirit of trickery and cunning. Uh, if you want to read the previous thing, just pause the video and read it yourself. Unfortunately, I did not realize I was going to cancel the dialogue and lose it. Um, we're going to be attacked by some Vytir. He's going to have a felines pop up here and there, I guess. Okay, what you doing over there? Well, Anton Shockwave is what he did. Yeah, he definitely wants the Shadow Step to overcome the snare he puts himself. Send us an emissary from the lands of the dead. Well, we got Smite Crawlers, which you find in the under... Oh, my goodness. Do something about this, which is in my... Grasping Knight. Oh, okay. Well, the good news is... We're going to get ourselves a uh, lot of Norn reputation points, which I'm happy about. Uh, it's going to take Zenmai forever. Like, she can strip those, but it's just going to take her a lot to get through the Shield of Judgments. Like, eventually she will get rid of them, but... More smite crawlers. Ah, oh, freaking shield of judgment. Stalking the knights. I'm not sure what they do. Okay, they use earthquake. That's nice. Smite crawlers are more annoying because shield of judgment's irritating. Oh, right! I could have been... I don't know what's going on with that. I could have been using... Uh, go for the eye... Or not go for the eyes. A certain scan when I was getting blinded. I need to remember that. Because that can help me overcome getting blinded. So then I can use, like... Hey, demonic remains. I can use, uh, like, Swift's javelin or something to... Pop the... Uh, uh, blind off me. I'm going to have my own build that works. Imbue this pendant with your spirit to protect its bearer. Uh, we don't need... Oh my goodness. So many earthquake aftershock things going on. I mean, these guys are pretty low level. But... Need to make sure I'm keeping my thing up. By which I mean helping defend my allies with uh, just healing. Another round. Oh, this time we have tortured spirits. Okay. I don't... Uh, I bet these guys use an illusory weapon or something. Um, Zenmai's going to be able to kind of chew through whatever it is they're doing. Yeah, illusory weapon. It's not bad at 25 damage. <gasps> Mystic Black Die! Yeah, yeah. Black Die is, like, the rare die that, like, everybody wants. It's 
so and getting a drop of it's pretty cool. It's not happened very often. Welcome, spirit, back to the mortal realm. What connection do you have with the sigil on this pendant? And over there is Sarah, which we met earlier in the underworld uh, in a previous episode. This design was for my daughter. I braided it on her clothes when she was a child. I can feel that she has been much saddened through hardship and loneliness, and I weep for her. I give a piece of my heart to ensure her happiness and give her strength. Tell her that I have never forgotten her, that I will always love her. It is done. The spirits have spoken. Return with this pendant, now imbued with the spirit of family. Okay, and so we need to go to Spock with... Spock? We need to Spock with Lieutenant Thackeray? Okay. Uh, talk with him. Um, whoops, that is the zoom out button and not the double click on the town button. Uh, I'm going to drop my party for the moment because I can always add him back to it. And I just want to uh, chat with our good friend, the uh, Marble Lieutenant. Hey, how's it going? Um, okay, he just has the stuff about him. Welcome back. Yes, this pennant will work perfectly. It holds the feeling of true family within the steel now, a love that cannot be severed even by death. Well done, Carmen Angelus. I think, though, perhaps you should present this gift to her. It may make her uncomfortable to receive something so exquisite from someone she hardly knows. Okay, now we need to go speak with Gwen. Back in the Hall of Monuments. Lots of back and forth. This isn't even the... the uh, most aggressive of the back and forth thing. Bluntly put. Hey, Gwen. How can I help? What is this? For me? Um Okay, now we have some dialogue. A special gift? Wait. This this is my family's crest. What gives you the right to do this? Peace, Gwen. There's no need to be upset. Says Thackeray. Gwen replies, Of course there is. The symbol on this pendant. Thackeray. Represents both your past and your future. Your memories will always be with you, but you don't have to be trapped in them. Life must go on, and so can you. Why? Why go to so much trouble? I, I didn't ask for this. There was no need to ask, Gwen. Everyone deserves a little happiness, even you. A little happiness, but I... The Eben Vanguard is your family. We may all have different blood and different backgrounds, but we're all in this together. My family? I don't have a... No, you're right. I guess I do. Thank you, Lieutenant Thackeray. Please, call me Kieran. He takes a bow. When you use Hector Breaker. I forget if she has any, like, after he leaves type of lines or not. The reason why I don't remember, by the way, is we're going to be doing a lot of this. Uh, going in here and having her talk and uh, then Logan coming in and... Or, or, Logan? What? Oh, grandchild. Um, or descendant, not grandchild. Logan Thackeray is a descendant of Kieran and Gwen. It's for those who didn't know Guild Wars lore. Spoilers. Uh, anyway, there's going to be a lot of back and forth as we kind of have their discussions, I suppose you could say. Hey, how's it going? She seems so much happier now. That meant a lot to her and to me. Thank you for the part you played in all of the, in all this. Consider me your friend and know that I will do everything I can for her. And for you, if you need me, please, take this small token of my gratitude. Uh, yep, thanks. Thanks to your efforts, we have strengthened the bonds within the Vanguard and brought a little happiness to Gwen. I'll be on my way. 
Okay, so at this point, what happens is, um, talking. Lots of talking. Lots of talking. Did I mention lots of talking? Um, oh, I have a pink die floating around in here, too. Huh. When did I pick that up? The black die is the more interesting one. Uh, there's an event in October for breast cancer awareness where you can buy pink dye in vast quantities. So, yeah. Um, okay, so this is what you're going to see a lot. Kieran uh, comes in. And uh, we'll have some diet. What am I not? Wow, there's some sort of invisible wall thing there. Hey, Gwen. Want to hear something interesting? I ran into Nicholas the Traveler yesterday and learned that an important date is coming up. Guess what it is? Gwen replies, Kieran, I'm not in the mood for games. And what are you up, up and around already? Or, and what are you doing up and around already? I thought you were injured. I've been cleared for duty. I'll have you know. Now, come on, just guess. The anniversary of the searing, when all that we held dear was turned ash and rubble? Well, yes, that. But it's also your birthday next week. Oh. We should celebrate. When's the last time you celebrated your birthday? Oh, I used to make a little cake and wear a party hat all the time in the Char Slave camps. What fun it was. Never, Kieran. Thackeray. See, this is your problem, Gwen. You don't know how to have fun. You're all duty. There's no balance in it. Gwen. What? I'm balanced. I can have fun. I just choose not to. Thackeray. Prove it, then. Celebrate your birthday. Find something that doesn't involve slaying char, like a walk in the woods or a picnic. A picnic? I am an officer of the Ebon Vanguard. I don't picnic. Fine, we'll call it an off-duty outdoor meal, unless you're scared. I snort. Please, I've faced char hordes, stood firm against great fire, against a great fireworm, and have literally seen the sky falling. It's decided, then. A picnic it is. I look forward to being proven wrong. See you around, Gwen. I'm going to just quickly take a screenshot of that. Because that's what the remainder of this episode is going to be a lot of. I think. I forget exactly how this progresses. Hey, Gwen. How are you feeling? Thackeray's still walking out. Wait, what did I just agree to? Yeah, that's the thing, is, like, there's random bits of dialogue. Okay. Um, I need to clean up my inventory at some point in time. It's not imminently important. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on over here with our friend, the uh, Lieutenant Thackeray, if we're pronouncing it in a more British style. There's an elementalist. I'm just running past. And the loading zone took. Hey, Lieutenant Thackeray. Hey, how's it going? It's good to see you, Carmen Angelus. Perfect timing, in fact. You travel a lot, right? Um, uh, sure, you could say that. Why? I need some supplies. I know you aren't necessarily a merchant by trade, but I'm a little short on options being so far north. Did you know that Gwen's birthday is coming up? Oh, is it? She never mentioned it. Of course not. I found out from Nicholas when I saw... <clears throat> when I saw last saw him. Listen. <coughs> Excuse me. Listen, I have a plan, but I need a few items to make my plan work. And I thought perhaps a well-traveled soul such as you may have come across them. Back up a second. A plan? Oh yes, a plan. A plan. A glorious plan. I'm a little bit excited about it. I noticed. Were you going to tell me about your glorious plan or just giggle like a schoolgirl? Ha <laughs> ha, an officer of the Vanguard never giggles, my friend. I'll tell you about my plan, but first you must promise to not tell Gwen. Bad things will happen if this is ruined for her. I swear to you that I will not ruin this for Gwen. Good. I'm a little closer, so no one hears. I've been cultivating a garden. A garden? Yes, a garden. As you know, I spend most of my time in the field, doing what I can to crush the char and help Ascalon. Well, for some time now, I've been cultivating a hanging garden on an overlook in the mountains. I check, on, check in on the garden whenever I, I'm on my way to 
or from a mission and when I'm off duty. This garden has become particularly important to me because I planted it shortly before I met Gwen. As I watch the garden grow, it's as if all my feelings for her have manifested themselves in this beautiful green place nestled on the side of a mountain near our homeland. You, sir, are smitten. So, are you taking her to the garden? Yes, I'm going to finally reveal my hidden sanctuary to its muse, but first I have to gather the final perfect touches to make this day go just right. I seek something sweet, drinks, an exotic meal, and lots of candles for my picnic with Gwen in the secret garden. Candles? Hmm, that might be a tricky one. Do you know a candle maker? Sorry, you don't know one? I was hoping you would... Isn't there somewhere you can think of that you've seen candles that you might be able to ask where they originated from? Are you serious? Well, it's a starting point, isn't it? Just think about it and let me know if you find some at find some at least half a dozen or so. Candles are easy. Candles are so easy. An exotic meal, on the other hand, that's where things become tricky. But we'll have to deal with all that stuff next time. So until then, take care, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>